There are 30 rights and freedoms that belong to everyone, such as a right to a nationality. Despite government efforts over the years, there are still a number of people in the Kavango regions who are stateless or undocumented. The issue of uh, national documents ha has been a problem for a very, uh, very long time. And it's high time uh, that a deliberate effort needed to be undertaken with a commitment to ensure that this problem is put to rest. And we are talking of people that has been a resident of uh, this region and this country as early as 1976. That is like 48 years ago. Whether uh, the people have crossed illegally or not, the moment that they have been resident of this country for the past 48 years. Stateless persons are often unable to access essential services and if unattended can affect families for generations. Another human right he dealt on is the right to education. Even though the Ministry of Education's mission is to provide access to equitable and quality education, Dr. Ngalangi says there are myriad of challenges such as overcrowded schools as well as a lack of resources. If you get into town schools, uh, classrooms have sky the size of classrooms have looted to close to 70 learners in a classroom and it's an eyesore to look at the number of schools within Rondo uh, that have corrugated iron uh, uh, sheet classrooms and these are makeshift classrooms and we are talking of a region of temperature can raise up to 38, 39 and you think of how do these 70 learners sit in this small classroom made of corrugated iron sheet. Freedom of movement is also a right which allows people to move and reside where they want. The porous borders found in the Kavango regions and the rise in urbanization means that there's a lot of movement going on. Dr. Ngalangi emphasized that despite isolated incidences here and there, locals are generally very tolerant. This Sometimes it's not broadcasted for people to appreciate how harmonious the local has been to tolerate uh, 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 other people from uh, different regions to reside with them. Uh, unfortunately, at times uh, it's just the red flags or the grey areas that comes in public. Uh, where you, you, you will see that maybe somebody who has come from somewhere, there is resistance from community members uh, of, uh, to, to, to allow that person to reside there. But uh, that, is, that is just an isolated incident. There is a good number uh, of, of people from other regions who are at peace, uh, who coexist with the community members at all. All in all, the local expert says at the end of the day, human rights are all about dignity, equality and the need to survive. Some people in the Kavango region still don't have access to clean potable water, although plans are underway to change that in the coming five years. Dr. Ngalangi also touched on sanitation, saying people deserve to relieve themselves in a dignified manner. Therefore, more toilets are needed, especially in the rural areas.